Hello again. I'm going to turn a bowl or finish turning a bowl that I started on November 9th, 2015. It's been sitting. It's plenty dry now, I can tell you. It's another Bradford Pear Bowl. I love turning Bradford Pear. Um, it's got a nice uh, bark inclusion in it here and um, kind of a pot shape that I kind of like. It's got another little uh, defect here that adds some character. So first thing I do is put it on the cold jaws and get it uh, cleaned up. The uh, the tenon is uh, excuse me the mortise is uh, is a little oblong right now, so I got to get it round so it'll go back in the chuck. And uh, let's finish this off. <laughs>
Okay, so I have uh, sanded through 400 grit. I think I'm ready to put some finish on, but I might burnish first with some of the uh, leftover shavings from the uh, from the bowl itself. That that sometimes puts a nice nice finish on. Just take some of the some of the shavings and turn the bowl on. Just hold it in there. some wax. I use Min Wax Finishing Wax. I like the finish it gives. And I'm not going to show you guys any more sanding, no matter how much you beg me. I know it's great stuff to watch, but I'm going to have to limit you. a beautiful finish. I mean it feels like glass when you're done with it. It's a garbage tree to have in your yard but boy oh boy is it nice to turn. finish that is absolutely spectacular all right time to turn it around and put it in the cold jaws right. I didn't really do much because I had already kind of refined it before I did it I may just uh, just touch it with the with a scraper a little bit in the center and then just sand everything else out. I think from here I'm just gonna sand. Convinced me. More sanding. Here you go. Okay, now it's time for one of my favorite parts. That's branding iron. Yeah, that one came out good. Let me go put this in a safe place. And after that, more joy for you people. More sanding, but I'm almost done. You know, this sanding is so much fun. And I'm sure it's so riveting to watch. I might do a whole video of just sanding. Won't that be fun? And I 
think I might try to put a little detail on the bottom here. On the edge. Just to take that rough out and give it something interesting to look at. Let's see. V groove cutter. There we go. That's a ticket, and then I think we're done. I just got to put a little bit of finish on. You can see stills of all these bulls that I turn on Instagram as well as other projects that I do. I don't do just bulls, I do lots of other projects. I like to do end grain cutting boards, I build furniture, uh, working on a couple pieces for presents right now for people. Try to post as much of this stuff as I can as I do it. Alright. The final buff. done here. Let me take it off the cold draws and we'll take a close look. Alright. Yes, I am very, very, very pleased with this. I love that. This actually came from a tree I had planted myself and ended up cutting down after it got damaged in a windstorm. This is a limb that I had cut off at some point in its life. And there's a little bit of spalting there. And look at the curl on this grain. I mean, you can see it down in here. If you can't, I'm sorry, but it is absolutely beautiful. All right, well, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next video.